Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders here like Anders in the global connectivity, real estate uh, markets, and the networks within them. So I'm Candace Sipos with JSA, and I'm joined today by a very exciting guest. I believe our first time with Hora Lee on JSA TV. Uh, so I've got Anders Eklund here, and I'm going to read your title so I don't so I don't mess it up. So you're Director and Sector Lead of Mission Critical and Data Centers for Hora Lee. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Um, so first of all, um, since uh, Horley was acquired by Tetra Tech uh, back in 2021, we'd love to just get an update about how that's affected your work in the data center industry and how you're kind of supporting mission critical organizations these days. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, since, since the acquisition in 2021, it's been very, very positive. Mm -hmm. So what that's allowed us to do is, is create a global platform mm -hmm. to, to work with our clients. But previously, we were fairly sort of UK centric, mm. but through the acquisition, we can um, now look at Europe as a mm. target market. We're collaborating all the time with our colleagues over in the US mm. uh, and working on a number of projects that go cross continent as well. Uh, we do regular calls, so we're able to, to talk about best practice, mm. uh, what works, what doesn't work from a design perspective, and um, really yeah, look at some of the global trends that are affecting the market at the moment. All right, you set me up perfectly for the next question. Thank you very much. Um, could you name one of the biggest trends you're seeing in data center sustainability right now? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously, a data center creates a lot of heat. So, uh, from that perspective, it's it's about how you can close that loop, circular economy, whatever you want to call it. So, mm -hmm. what we're seeing now as uh, design parameters to get planning mm -hmm. is to uh, see some use of that re that waste heat, mm -hmm. whether that be in a district heating scheme. Or there's some, some yeah, some schemes where they're heating lobster farms and mm. salmon farms and all sorts. It depends on location, but uh, there's lots of opportunity to reuse that heat. But it's just mm. about how you factor that into the design. So that's mm. one of the main trends we're seeing at the moment. Excellent. You're hitting on some hot topics here: heat reuse, circular economy. Definitely some buzzwords we've been hearing about at the at the ESG summit this week. Um, so of course, Horley is a leader when it comes to intelligent data centers and AI, which are also huge topics um, at this conference and every digital infrastructure uh, conference out there right now. Um, so could you tell us your take a little bit on AI as it relates to supporting data centers? Um, yeah, AI fascinating, and it's mm -hmm. it's it's growing at such a pace at the moment. Um, I think it's going to bring some challenges, some big mm -hmm. challenges, may, primarily around power, mm -hmm. uh, because you're looking at higher and higher density in the, in the rack level. So uh, we need to find a way uh, to facilitate the additional power requirements. I mean, I think there were some numbers mentioned yesterday, possibly 38 gigawatts of additional power required mm -hmm. just, just for AI. People are saying that could be double. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's an amazing sort of uh, future to look forward to. But mm -hmm. um, what we're looking at is how we could support those facilities uh, through uh, non-grid related sort of power, whether that be a microgrid, uh, possibly maybe a little bit controversial in some countries, but mm. uh, you know, a small nuclear reactor, a micro nuclear mm. reactor, and and renewables, you know, mm. whether that be wind or uh, hydro or, or something similar. So, in fact, uh, on that topic, we we, are, we actually have a webinar that's mm. planned for the 19th of October. Mm. Um, and which will talk through all of those topics and how they can help support AI um, as it continues to develop. So. Excellent. Wonderful. You you heard it here first about the webinar yep. on October 19th. Go check out the Horley website. and, and It'll be on the Horley website. It'll be mm -hmm. on the Tetra Tech website as well. So um, mm -hmm. we're just getting it all lined up at the moment. So it should be, uh, it should be ready to, to click the link and, and register very shortly. Okay, perfect. We'll definitely check that out. You're, you're definitely hitting on a lot of the, the hot topics that we're hearing about this week. Um, and of course, uh, Horley, Tetra Tech are huge leaders in the industry. Um, so we're excited to chat with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you to our viewers back home for hanging out with us today on JSA TV. Happy networking.